If you look back through time, there's been the echo of a car that's the car of all cars. The one to beat, essentially. Now, I don't necessarily agree with this, but let's just go with it. So, you have a car, which is supposedly the best in the world. But then they say, no, no, wait, hold on. We can do better. <laughs> this is the story of just that car. Show me you got soul inside those new shoes. And you can rock and roll with the attitude. So good, so fresh, just the way you like it. This is the story of Mercedes Maybach, in particular the S580. And it's a story that's going to be littered with excess. Excessive opulence, excessive tech, excessive space, you get it. Just general unhealthy excess. And this is how it's manifested. Actually. This is how it's manifested. It is incredible how they thought that the long wheelbase S-Class, which is pretty long, wasn't long enough. So they made this longer still. It's a whole 180 mm longer than the regular long wheelbase S-Class. It's also wider, taller and has a larger wheelbase. <coughs> Which means that, even without folding the front seat forward, I have more than enough room here to do whatever I want. Even a couple of cartwheels if I like it. In a manner of speaking. And while the rear seats, they are heated, cooled and have massage functions of course, I now have the option of massaging my calves. My calves! Funny little thing, opulence. All I do is lay in bed awake at night Dreaming of the things that I would say That's a waste But the Maybach wasn't done with its show of opulence and excessiveness just yet. Oh no. Because under the hood is a thunderous V8. A V8. There's a twin turbo 4 litre engine sitting under the hood there and it makes 503 horsepower and 700 Nm. And all I can hear are my thoughts. You got something that I need. And that's the result of the active noise cancelling that Maybach has included for the car. So just like your headphones would do it, unwanted noise frequencies are reduced by emitting counter frequencies in the cabin. Of course, I could mash the throttle to the floor. <laughs> And yes, I can hear the car, but it still sounds so far away. Oh wait, that's probably because the engine is in the bonnet ahead of me, which means it's probably in Africa right now. All that said, if you need to hustle, the S580 totally can. 0 to 100 kmph comes up in a scant 5 seconds. Oh, and you can also get an S680 that has a V12 under the hood, and that's even faster. But back to this one, and I have found a complaint. It is the ride, if you can believe that. The thing with the S580 is that it is set up so soft that if you manage to hit a bump at speed, you're going to be bouncing around for a fair bit after that. Now, it is true that you can toggle away from the Maybach mode and into the Sport mode, which ironically enough is 
the mode to be in when you want to be the most comfortable. But it's still not as good as it should be. Also, this one mysteriously does not get four wheel steered. But you get it on the CBUS class, which is cheaper. I don't quite know how that works. And it's quite a pity actually that this doesn't get it because considering this is a longer S-Class, would have made it really convenient when you're doing those quick U-turns. So the obvious question at the end of all of this is whether the Maybach makes any sense over a regular S-Class. Sadly enough, my opinion on whether it does or doesn't is irrelevant. You see, the launch edition CBU S-Class that cost about two and something crores sold out almost immediately. This one costs about two and a half crores and this one is also spoken for till late this year. The Big Daddy S680 with the V12 costing 3.2 crores sold out for 2022. Even if this doesn't make sense, they're obviously doing something right. A lot right, actually. As always, thank you for watching. This is Forbes India Momentum. I'm Ronak and you can call me crazy because this actually makes sense to me. It really does.